Today, I'm opening up a $160 Boom Loot Boom Box. So this actually went on sale, I think it was November 1st. It shipped off on November the 2nd. So Boom Loot always sells all their Funko Pop mystery boxes, but they only do them on Monday nights. Sometimes they sell out pretty quickly. Sometimes they sit for a couple hours. It all depends on what kind of box it is. And what this one was called was the Epic Vaulted and Exclusives Volume Number 38. There was 30 boom boxes available. Each boom box was 80 bucks, limited two per customer. So two $80 boom boxes for a total of 160 bucks. Three pops per boom box, so a total of six pops for $160. It says each boom box will contain three pops for $80 per box. The guaranteed minimum is $160 or higher. So you've got a guaranteed value in here. So some pops could be worth like 15 and some could be worth 80, I guess. You know, it all evens out or you get more. Of course, it says PPG values can fluctuate, sometimes even wildly daily. I've seen, I've seen some pops, especially recently, there's been a lot of eBay price manipulation going on this year. People fraudulently manipulating eBay sold prices and making pops skyrocket in value. And once it's all figured out, the PPG fixes it and the price comes back down or, you know, levels out where it should be. I've seen it several times this year on several like expensive pops. It says all box conditions are near mint to mint condition. There are a few doubles on some variants. So there is a possibility you could get a double, not a guarantee though. And that's it. Here we go. They should all be in their own little like inner box, all six pops. And I always have pretty good luck with, with boom loot. Sometimes I don't get out like massive huge pulls, but I mean, all in all, I get out usually pretty good value for what you pay. Here we go. Here's all six boxes. Get them out of the main box. So we're going to cut, let's cut these apart. This side feels heavier than this side. It does. This side feels heavier. We're going to cut these apart and we will do kind of like the, the shake test, as I call it. See which boxes have more weight to them. But this three pack feels like might have a little more weight on this end box right here. I it could be played by mind though. Sometimes certain pops are just heavy because the pop has a big head or something. Here we go. First box. You ready? First one. Hopefully something good. What we get? I think it's upside down. It is Scarlet Witch Avengers Age of Ultron. This is a 2015 pop. This should be vaulted. Some Age of Ultron pops have been vault or have been restocked. Like the Thor's been restocked like 200 times. I don't know if this is vaulted or not, but this this might be like the best hit in this first boom box. This might be the best hit. Um, at the very end, we'll go back, we'll look up values of all three of this box and then all three of that box. I actually, I, I, I was supposed to do the shake test and I totally forgot. These two feel about the same. None, none of these two feel heavier than the other one. Here we go. This is it upside down? That was upside down also. What we got, is that Iron Man? Yes, it is Iron Man. Target exclusive Iron Man. I know the Spider-Man on, on this set, the original run of the Black Glass for Target, the Spider-Man's shopped to like, what was it, like 90 bucks now or something like that? It's gotten kind of expensive. And pretty good condition box. First two pops, I'd say pretty solid. We kind of have a Marvel theme going right there, but these are supposed to be pulled at totally random. So there shouldn't really be a theme to these boxes. Shouldn't be. Here we go, last one. First box, then we'll see some PPG value. Which one? It is Halo Spartan Mark 7 with Shock Rifle 2020. Yeah, I'm guessing Scarlet Witch is probably going to be like the big hit in this first one, I bet. Let's see some PPG. First pop, Spartan Mark 7 with Shock Rifle, a GameStop exclusive from Halo. It is worth a whole $11. Not expensive pop to start with, but it's a guaranteed like $80 per boom box. So these last two would be worth at least like 70 bucks combined. Pop number two, Iron Man Target Exclusive. This is the Target sticker, not the overseas sticker. And this one is worth 26 bucks. 
So at least it is like over double what retail was. So that's a positive. So his first two are 37 bucks. That means that Scarlet Witch has to be worth at least like 40 bucks. If not a little bit over 40 bucks. So Scarlet Witch is going to be the big hit in the first box. Last one, Scarlet Witch 2015 coming in at $55. I'll take that in a heartbeat. So first box, total of 92 bucks. Cost me 80, 92. So pretty much if you like count shipping costs, let's say broke even. First box in the grand scheme, I broke even. And Scarlet Witch is actually a nice pop. That will move pretty quickly. I know right now, since WandaVision, Scarlet Witch stuff is still pretty hot. It's still selling really, really, really well. Uh, Funko Pops comic books it's still a hot property here we go boom box number two this one has more weight to it i wonder if one of these pops in here is in some kind of a protector or maybe a hard stack we'll do the shake test i think this box has the weight to it or my mind is playing tricks on me this does feel a little bit heavier but not it is a little bit heavier Actually, these, these two are the heavier ones. We'll do this one first. Here we go. Pop number four. Looks like I got Skeletor. Yep, Skeletor Gemini exclusive. This is the metallic version. It's a pretty cool pop. I think it's worth around 25 or 30 bucks. I just had this pop recently. I actually sold it in a, uh, actually I put it into a mystery box. Cause I do mystery box runs in my whatnot live auctions. If you haven't already downloaded the, the Whatnot app, there'll be a link down below in the description box to Whatnot. Make sure you download the Whatnot app. I sell all my pops on Whatnot. And this is coming in at 23. This, this dropped in value. It was worth, I think, 25. So it's dropped a couple bucks in value. But not bad for, for the first pop. Not bad. Yeah, and all these pops that don't have pop protectors, as always, will be put into pop, will, the seven bucks pop, pop shield pop protectors. And also right now, I actually have a promo code. If you want to get a 100 pack of Pop Shield Pop Protectors, use promo code CLINT7. That's CLINT the number seven. Get you seven bucks off of a 100 pack of Pop Shield Pop Protectors through the entire month of November. So make sure you use the promo code for this month because I haven't had a promo code in almost two years with seven bucks a pop. Promo codes with them are pretty rare. Here we go. Next one. Is this Batman? No, that was Batman from the camera uh grimlock transformers eccc shared sticker from this year probably not super expensive i could be wrong though so i have known to been wrong a few times in my life and let's see shared is that it shared stickers worth 14 bucks that's not very much those first two pops are again $37 which means this last pop has to be worth at least around 40 bucks so first two this is a super cool pop though it will sell very quickly it will not last long um, here we go last one this one had the most weight to it hopefully it's like a, some kind of a pop protector here we go you ready I see Venom. Is it the Chase? Nice, it is. This is the Pop in a Box Venom Glow Chase. Nice. This is a pretty good value to it, but Pop in a Box has restocked this pop a few times on, on the website. Every time they restock it, it drops the value some, and then the value will start rising again on it, and then they restock it and the value goes down. Kind of like, you know, roller coaster effect with this pop. Super cool pop, though. Glow in the dark, freaking Venom. It's awesome. Let's see some PPG on this last one. Pop in a box exclusive. 85 bucks. Nice. 85 bucks. So this last box, grand total, 122. First box was 92, right? So grand total, I got back 214. I spent 160, 214. So I'm up like 50 bucks more than what I paid. And I got one hit that's pretty freaking nice hit right there. So I'm happy with this. This was a good box. Good mystery box. I always like 
boom loose boom boxes. I always get really good value in them, it seems like. So I'll be buying them again. So I'll see you next time with some more boom boxes.